guys, so today I'm with Melanie and she's the dog lady in Placentia and this is? This is Paisley. She's my dog that came from Oregon. Wow. So we're gonna talk about how do you bring your dog to Placentia? Is Placentia dog friendly and how you go about that? Melanie's going to explain us. She has a business, pets on a jet. Yep. So. So I am with the Humane Society and that's how it started. And um, we used to ship uh, dogs for people coming, um, wanting to rescue dogs here in Belize and sending them out of the country. And as a result of uh, legislate or uh, rules and regulation changes with the airlines, um, I, it became necessary I get my license. So I'm an iPata shipper. IPATA, which is required with a lot of the airlines as it gets stricter and stricter, it's hard for people to um, navigate the rules and many airlines require my, uh, somebody like me to um, book, your flat, book your pets yeah. coming in and out, especially international travel. It's really not a difficult process. Um, there's a couple restrictions that are really important to be aware of. One, a crate size cannot be over 30 inches. Um, some airlines are less than that, but 30 is the max and that's United. So if you have a large breed dog, there are some, a few options. They're very limited options, but um, if it's, a, if it's a very large breed dog, let's say you have a dog that's 30 inches, 28 inches tall, you have to have three inches of clearance from the tip of their ears or the tip of their head. Three inches has to be clearance in the crate size. So um, that means 28 inches, you need a 31 inch crate, which means it's too big for the aircraft. So um, that's a problem. You have to find another way. Some people drive. There's a Marijet, which is out of Miami, flies directly into Belize or from Belize to the U.S. Um, and then you can go from there. There's different shippers that will accommodate Miami um, to wherever the dog or your cat or cat is going. I deal primarily with cats and dogs. So those are our major things. So that's one thing is size um, of crate and kennel. Our our um, regulations here are basically just very much like North America, um, just current vaccine and rabies. So um, the rabies needs to be administered at least 30 days prior to travel. Um, a travel certificate needs to be issued. Baja needs to regulate, or it needs to be sent to um, USDA and then to Baja, which is Lisa's um, animal mm -hmm. um, authority. And they will approve, so when you're flying in with your animal, they can, um, you, you go through their uh, approval process with the paperwork. They inspect the animal, there's a small fee of $50. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. So um, the only airline right now that is strictly requiring a Ayapata agent is United Airlines, and they're also the best airline to use if you're traveling with your pet. So, um, do you have, what, do you have any other, what do you, what do you think? Any, Anything no. question come to mind? What breed is Paisley? Paisley is an Australian <laughs> Shepherd and Border Collie. She's half and half. So this coloring comes from the Australian Shepherd size, but she also has some strong um, Border Collie characteristics like her long nose. And um, I always joke that she has a Border Collie ear and Australian ear because uh, one ear stands up and the other one lays down. That's funny. So she's a cattle dog herding breed. In the U.S. it's quite common, but down here in Belize she's kind of one of a kind. There's not too many of them around. No. So she kind of stands out with her unique coloring and her unique eyes. She's extremely intelligent. So for those that travel here, you um, a lot of the times these wonderful little Belizean dogs, they um, adopt people. They You're on do. vacation and they end up at your doorstep and they follow you to dinner and they follow you wherever you walk around the village. And yeah, I, I always notice when you come to Placencia, the dogs are professional sidewalkers. Yeah. You cannot walk the sidewalk and not meet a dog. I know, they are. They're totally, they know how to work the vacationers. Yeah. So it's it's uh, pretty common to find a dog that adopts you, and people constantly fall in love, and not just here in Placencia, but 
all over the country. We, all us humane societies, work together, and we have a wonderful uh, we, uh, Facebook page called Belize Pet Adoptions, where we post all of our dogs up for adoptions, and and. I can ship anywhere in the world, pretty much. My co my company's called Pets on a Jet. Mm -hmm. It's Pets on a Jet at gmail.com. You can email me. That's um, easy. I don't have a website up yet, but um, it's uh, you know you can uh, chat with me now, and I'm free to answer your questions. And um, do you um, have a Facebook page? I, I don't have a Facebook page yet, no. Just my own personal uh, Facebook, which is fine, which is Melanie L. Wilcher. But um, email works too, petsonajet at gmail.com. So you can you can adopt and we'll, we'll ship out and we can and we can help you import and I'm do, I'm my service, I'm my uh, your questions and answers that's free. I'm here to help. So I just wanna help the animals and help people get their pets moved as economical as possible. There yeah. are some U.S. companies that are charging some horrendous fees, so please don't be discouraged when you get a quote um, that is really going to seriously break the bank or buy you a small used car. Um, contact me and I can make it much more affordable for you and it won't break the bank. So, um, you know, I look forward to meeting some of you and hope you with your dog and cat travels. Yeah. So guys, you could contact Melanie. I would leave I will leave her information in the caption below. And that's it. So I'm gonna say bye. Bye. And Paisley's gonna say bye bye Paisley. <laughs> Melanie guys and her dog Paisley. And if you would like to know more information, like I said, I'm gonna leave her email, her contact information down below, or you can contact us at BMA. So you guys know that shipping your dog or bringing your animals down with you on vacation to.